Hi guys. Well, in this exercise, we're going to produce a low content book um, with Affinity Publisher version 2. And this one will be, the content will be created by ChatGPT, which I'm sure you may have heard of by now. This is real 21st century stuff. And we're going to put it into an Affinity Publisher version 2 booklet, A5 booklet, and publish it to KDP. All in one go. Now, it might take a little bit of time, but that's all right. We've got plenty of time. So stick with me and let's get right. So let's start this exercise by looking at ChatGPT. And you can see the URL there, chat.openai.com slash chat. I'll probably put that in the description, but if I forget, there it is. Now, ChatGPT will create all sorts of things for you. Now, what I'm going to do here to start with is get a little bit of text that says, why growing your own vegetables makes good economic sense. Let's try that. There we go. Why growing your own vegetables makes good economic sense. We can use that as the first page, if you like, of our document, which we'll get to in a moment, because we're going to create a low content book, if you like, or any sort of book that we can publish on KDP. So let's click that. Now, ChatGTP is free. You can subscribe to it, but it's free if you just want to do short experimental things like this. Now, it's very busy this morning, Thursday morning as I'm recording this. ChatGTP has got millions of users on it. There we go, generating's up. Now, there we go, and it's coming back with that. There's a few I've done before, you can see in the left-hand side there. Sometimes you can see those, the history. Sometimes you can't. ChatGTP is a work in progress, so expect it to change slightly from time to time. But this certainly makes producing your own low-content books for KDP very easy. So, there we go. Now, that's quite interesting. It's doing dot points. And you can use this in your document. Now, when this is finished producing this, and it'll take a few minutes when it's this slow, sometimes it's really quick, a few seconds, bang, job done. But this morning... Um, it's taking quite a while. When you copy and paste this, it will copy that grey background, but into Word. Now, what we've got to do is, in Word, is remove that grey background. And that's really easy. Now, I'm using Word because you don't want to be producing a document in Publisher that's one page long. I mean, you, do, you might do that if you're doing a brochure. But we're looking at doing a book. And what we've got here is a lot longer um, than one page. But this is showing you how this works. And we're going to be putting it into an A5 book in Word and Publisher. Now, I'm not showing you how to use Word so much as just using that because there's three versions around. Um, and you can copy this directly into Publisher. But it's a bit of a slow go. Now, that's ChatGTP has produced that, and you can see it's very interesting. You couldn't write that yourself in that amount of time. So we'll go Command-C. I'm using a Mac, of course. Command-C or Control-C if you're on an Apple. We've copied that. Now, what we want is to find my Word, Microsoft Word. There it is there. And there's some stuff I typed in before. So let's just get rid of that. File, new document, and there it is. Now, what we want is the design, themes, no, is it design, is it layout? It might be layout. We want the size of the layout to be A5. Now, the margins here are in centimetres. But I really want... 
I really wanted inches, but never mind. It's an A5 booklet. And that's reasonably important because it's the margins that it creates that we use in Publisher. Now, let me paste that back in there. And you can see that it's got the grey behind it. We'll select all that. Command A, that's all selected. There it is. We want that little bucket on the home button. I'm reasonably unfamiliar with Word. Been using it for years, but I haven't used it in a long time. But we want no colour. That's the page colour. You can see now I've done that. And go back there. We've got growing your own vegetables can be a smart economic decision for a number of reasons. And that's now in black and white with no background. Now that's what we want. Now we'll, file, we'll save that. Save as. I'm going to save it in documents. Growing your own vegetables. And you can see I've got some other ones already done there. Let's save that. We'll get rid of that one. That's one I've done previously. Don't save. And we're left with that one. Now we can put that away because we actually don't need that for the moment. Chat GTP we don't need for the moment. So we can minimize that. Let's create a new one. File. New. Now it's KDP number 3 print. Now I've set this one up. That's one of my presets. See that? Oops, I oh, lost it. Okay, where was it? My presets. KDP number 3. That's 5.5 .5 by 8.5. That's an A5 size, right? right? I probably could put that KDP number 3 print. I'll probably change that and make it a little more intelligent. But that's the one I'm using. Now, notice here. The inner margins, 0.75, top, outer, and bottom margins are 0.5 of an inch. The bleed, the inner margins, that's right there. It's the center of the book, so there's no bleed. But the top is 0 0.125, 0 0.125, and 0.125 inch. You can see I've got inches there, which is why I was looking at setting the Word document in inches. I'll go back and change that one day so it defaults to inches. Okay, bleed, margin, color we can ignore, CMYK for one of any other thing. Pages, they're facing pages, horizontal, and they start on the right. Number of pages, well, do we want 30? Well, we're just going to start with one and auto-generate them, you see. Now, if you start with 30 pages, it will auto-generate pages for you, but you'll, have, you'll end up with whatever pages you generate plus the 30. Documents in inches, it's 5.5 width, 8.5 high, which is A5, default master pages. Let's create that document. Now, there's our document. We've saved our Word document. We're going to put a text file there. And you can see that's right there. I'm not bothering with the master at the moment. I'm just doing this. There we go. Now we go up to File and Place. There's the one we just did. Growing your own vegetables can be a smart economic decision for a number of reasons. There's a long one. There's one I've done previously. Chat GP generated vegetable texts. Let's go back and we'll open that one because I want to show you. You can see it obviously goes over the edge of the document because it's got those little red things there. Once that's there, hold the shift key down, push that arrow onto the triangle and then click while still holding down. Now you can see it's 
put in all those pages so you don't have to guess how many pages you've got. Starting on page one, page two. Now, see what I was saying about it having that grey background in it. Now, because it's an A, the document is set to A5. You can see that the margins fit. It's an A5 publisher document, and the margins from the Word document put them in there very neatly. Now, let's back out of that because I want to see if we can get rid of that grey background. You don't want that in there. Okay, there's the whole thing. Back to square one. Now, what we've got to do is go down to the Word document, File, Open, Is that the one we had? Chat GTP. What a short memory. Let's have a look. There it is. And you can see that it's all grey. So let's just select everything in there. Go to that. Select no colour. And the colour's gone. Now we can save this. Just save it, and it's ChatGP generated vegetable text. Save to the Mac. Let's close that down for the moment. Close that one, because I'm not using that now. We're back to there. Just click the Move tool. File. Place. It's the whole thing. Just listing them in, in some sort of date order there. So let's open that one. And it's placed it all in there as it did before. Now you can go back, put the triangle on the triangle. Hold the shift key down. Press enter. And there's everything placed in there neatly. Double click on that. And that's page one. We've done nothing with the master pages yet. But that's alright. Close that up. Now, you've got your basic document. Untitled. What I want to do is just copy that. File. Save as. We're going to save it to Affinity Publisher and I'm going to give the whole name. It's in the iCloud Drive. Good, that's where I want it. Now you can go through, you can edit it. It's all it's already got pretty good formatting from Word and it's got everything in place. You can go through and format that document as you wish. That's January, February, March, all of that kind of thing. Okay, now, let's not keep fussing with that because you'll get a bit bored otherwise. Now, there's a short one, untitled. And there's the one I did previously. Now, you can see that I've already done a little bit of formatting. There's an image there. I've got three master pages. And so on. Now, what I would like to show you is open recent. Is the allotment A5 booklet body. There's, let me collapse those master pages, we don't need to see them. There's the front page of 
the one that I showed you that's already on Kindle and um, Amazon. How to plan an allotment. Testing your pH. And you can see I've got images. You go right down the end. There's notes. Document setup. 5.5 by 8.5. Margins. 0.75. Bleed. Now the inner is 118. They're all set to the same. But in the case of KDP, there's some issues that you'll come across with bleed. Okay, so let's not keep looking at that one. We've come back to Untitled. Let's close that one down. Don't save it. We don't need it. And that one there, we don't need. Save it anyway, and then I can close it. Now, the good thing is you can use these on your Affinity Publisher for iPad. You can also use them on Affinity Publisher for Mac or for Windows. And you can edit these wherever you like, wherever you are, and get a nice little thing going. Okay. Now that you've got that there, Now, there you go. That's the Amazon, that's the bookstore version that I just showed you on the, on Publisher. There it is there. And there it is there. All printed, ready to go. It's in, now I did it in print version and I've done it in a Kindle version. The Kindle version is slightly different. I removed the table of contents and a few other things. But the interesting thing with the Kindle now is it does fixed format as well as reflowable. The fixed format will show on the new Kindle devices quite happily. So if you've got a book that's got images in it, let's have a look at the Kindle edition and look inside. Okay, just a bit of a notice by. Now see that that table of contents won't be there in the Kindle edition. But that's exactly how it will show up in the um in the Kindle. Close. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's pause it there, shall we?